Hello, Xbots and Sony Ponies. I kid, I don't like the terminology. Next level taken here with some interesting news. This is potentially a game changer for the industry. Windows Central has leaked an Xbox One all digital edition. This is a mock up photo. This is not the real deal. And that's basically because they want to protect their source, the source of the leak. But basically, this is what it's going to look like. And if it looks familiar, that's because it looks just like the Xbox One S. Minus the disk drive. I can understand why they wouldn't change things up too much. Because the simple fact of the matter is, you know, A, if it ain't broke, why fix it? B, it's probably cheaper to just leave it as is instead of going ahead and, oh, let's make it a little thinner, or a little skinnier, or what have you, a little sleeker. It would have been cooler though, but it is what it is. Now, this is supposedly going to be bundled with Minecraft, Sea of Thieves, and Forza Horizon disc-free gaming. It's going to be cheaper than the Xbox One S that's currently in stores right now. With that said, is that enough to get people that were on the fence about buying an Xbox One to go out and purchase one? Will that make a PS4 owner switch sides? or a switch owner or to buy a second or third console that remains to be seen especially this late in the gen cycle we'll see now with this system coming out here's the interesting thing according to the box mock up here there's been no game pass or gold bundles with that which i assume would have been you know that's duh but for whatever reason doesn't seem like they're bundling or promoting game pass or gold with this um, maybe they are, maybe they aren't. Only time will tell. Will this go the route of the PSP Go? I think what happened with the PSP Go was, well, one, that was almost 10 years ago. Two, that was late in the cycle of the PSP, even though you could argue the same thing with the Xbox One now. But also, that was priced higher than the PSP model that was out. It was priced 50 bucks higher. Even when it went on sale, it was still $50 higher than the PSP 3000. That's not the case here. This is going to be the cheapest Xbox model. This is going to be for those cheapskates out there. Those uh, people that can't afford the latest and greatest console. But this, this could be interesting. This could maybe potentially be a spark for the future. Maybe the PlayStation 5 or 6 doesn't have a disk drive for better or worse. I do like my physical games, but I do realize the times they are a-changing. So who knows what's going to happen with this in the future, but it looks like May 7th, this will launch in stores a discless Xbox One, an all-digital edition. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Thanks to Windows Central for this. I'll link below to their article. They're the source of all this. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. It's been Next Level Taken. Thank you for watching. Until next time.